Hi, it's Leanne here from Polite Pooches Sydney with Dr. Tanil for our regular Friday at five. So Tanil, today we're going to talk about puppy preschool. From a veterinarian's point of view, why do you recommend your clients with new pups to attend a puppy preschool? I think puppy preschool is a really good idea for all puppies, um, for, through to the ones who are already showing behavioural problems, through to the puppies who seem like they're very well adjusted. It's a really great opportunity for puppies to meet um, other dogs their own age of all different breeds. Um, it's a great opportunity for them to start to learn how to socialise. Um, you also have access to a dog trainer who will be able to provide you with lots of um, advice and uh, give you little tips. They'll start to teach you basic training techniques and also all kind of aspects of husbandry for your new puppy. And Tanil, from someone who has a now congratulations masters in vet science, do you believe that there is a lot of risk to bringing a new puppy to a puppy preschool? So I would think that any good puppy preschool would ensure that all the puppies in the class are as up to date as possible for their age in vaccinations. So if, for example, if your puppy's it attends its first class at about 12 weeks, then it should have had its first two vaccinations already. So if all puppies in the class are all up to date with their vaccinations for the age that they are, then there's a very low risk of having any problems of those preventable diseases. And what, just quickly to remind our clients, what would be the potential diseases that a puppy could encounter out on the street, for example? Sure. So that's what's so great about puppy preschool. So it's an, a way for you to socialise your puppy because obviously before it's fully had all three of its puppy vaccinations, it can't go out into public areas and socialise with um, dogs out in the parks yet. So you're providing a safe environment for your puppies to socialise where all the puppies are up to date for their age for the vaccinations. So when we vaccinate, in particular, we're worried about parvovirus, which is a nasty virus which can cause severe vomiting and bloody diarrhoea, and that it can cause 50% of puppies can die from it. So that's probably one of the biggest risks and what we vaccinate against. And as you would know, our policy, mine at Polite Pooches Sydney and yours here at AMS, is if your puppy is enrolled in a puppy preschool and they are showing any signs of illness, immediately contact the vet and and I personally won't let the pups into Correct. class. Yeah, so I think all good puppy preschool, like this one, um, yeah, would obviously, you, you it's like going to daycare. You know, you, you're, you're not going to have a, an ill animal at a pretending class where it can be in close contact with other puppies. So that would be, um, in con like, you know, controlled by the puppy preschool um, trainer. And, um, yeah, so it's it's just one of the only ways, apart from you taking your puppy to visit friends or family with a dog who's fully vaccinated in their home, it's, it's a, a way for you to socialise your puppy with, you know, strangers, which is what it needs to learn how to do. And you don't always have, you know, it's better if you don't wait, really, until it's older. You know, your, your puppy starts to learn those socialisation techniques from, from quite a young age and, it, and it's that time that you want to start to, to give it the opportunity to learn how to do that in an uh, appropriate manner. One of the things that I always try to implement with the new puppies in our puppy preschool classes here is getting the handlers and the puppies used to being handled as such. So the puppies know that it is actually acceptable to have their lip lifted up or have someone look in their ears or someone touch their paws. Yes. Do you as a vet find that initial handling skills beneficial when you then come to handle the dogs here in the veterinary clinic situation? Oh, it's amazing. You know, not I don't think all puppy preschools would, would offer that. And that just makes my job easier when, you know, a dog comes in at one year old and has an ear infection but hey, they were taught at puppy preschool to, to learn how to touch the ears and it's had its ears, you know, flipped over and looked at. So then when I have to examine the ear, it makes my job a lot more, e uh, you know, easy for me to examine the ear properly because it's used to having its ears touched, it's, it's used to. So I think that's actually an extra service which is very beneficial for the puppy because, 
you know, it, it then won't be a stress when it has to have those things examined and for me, you know, yeah. So just one final question to Neil, if you were to get a brand new puppy now, what age would you enrol your puppy in Polite Pooches Sydney AMS Alexandria Puppy Preschool? I would get make sure my puppy had had the first initial vaccination and then enrol as soon as possible after that, whichever, whenever the class was starting the next available date. That's great. Thanks so much for today and I'll talk to you next week, Neil. Thank you.